What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the very special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower Luke. Luke, thank you so so much for your support for this request and for putting more sub radio in front of me. Uh, I have become obsessed. I have become a little bit obsessed with sub radio ever since Bye 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 and Stacey's Dad. I have listened to those songs too many times. Uh, I'm not sure at this stage if sub radio has more serious songs that aren't parodies, if they have original music. If they do, I need to hear it because I am so in love with these guys. And the fact that they do Mr. Darkseid, which is a parody, obviously, of Mr. Brightside, but as a Star Wars parody, I love it. I, I am obsessed with it. But the bar is high, you guys. Like, there have been some good, good parody songs around Star Wars, in like, specifically. The, the one that instantly jumps to my mind is The Saga Begins by Weird Al Yankovic. Nothing can ever top that. But Mr. Brightside is a freaking fantastic song. I know that whatever sub radio do here is going to be brilliant and going to be hilarious and I can't wait to check it out. So we're going to get into it right now. As always, please check out the original video that's linked in the description below. Give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe to sub radio if you haven't already. And we're going to get into this. This is sub radio's song, Mr. Darkside. Let's go. Flying into rage and I was doing just fine. Saw a terrible thing inside the Death Star. It started out on my ship, pounded it and applied this. I just saw my kids kiss. I just saw my kids kiss. <laughs> of all the directions, of all the directions. I was ready for that to go in. Of all of the ways I thought this was gonna go, I <laughs> I just saw my kids kiss. They are focusing on the Luke and Leia kiss. I I was so ready for this to be like just just a song about Darth Vader doing Darth Vader things and all about the dark side. I'm Mr. Dark Side. I was ready for that. I was prepared for that. It would have been funny. It would have been fun. It would have been what I expected. But no, Sub Radio are always going to come at you with these fantastic curveballs that is the last thing you're ready for. And a Luke and Leia kiss song. Just, just from the moment I just saw my kids kiss, the fact that it... It, it has the pictures flash up on the screen. Everything. Um, oh, this is going to be too much. Flying into rage and I was doing just fine. Saw a terrible thing inside the Death Star. It, started it all makes so much more sense now. When it was flying into rage, I was like, oh yeah, I guess Darth Vader flies in rages a lot. And then saw a terrible thing on the Death Star. I was like, when is this song meant to be taking place? Because like... The, the terrible thing on the Death Star, you're talking about when he killed Palpatine. Like, what's he talking about there? And then, oh my god. Okay. The sand reference, the freaking Anakin Skywalker sand reference. Yes, yes. <laughs> the fact that they are pulling out so many fantastic references through this whole thing, just one after another after another. I'm gonna cut everyone in half. My lights, lightsaber's red. I'm covered in scar, but the, the the covered in sand line. Everything. Oh my god, you can tell that's the thing I love about sub radio is that you can tell coming into this, they're fanboys. They aren't coming into this going like writing a Star Wars parody with only like base, base knowledge of Star Wars, only base stuff. They are in there. They they know little the the little the, the, the little touches you put in there to just make it brilliant. Oh my god. Oh, 
Okay. I was fully prepared. I'm like, I'm mouthing along the lyrics because you can't not sing along with Mr. Brightside. But I was fully prepared for them to like to, to be wrong. And I'm singing along and I'm like, oh, they're actually singing it. Cool. Okay, I got it right. Turn younglings into debris. <laughs> Is it hilarious? Yes. Am I going to hell for laughing at it? Also, yes. And if you laughed, you're coming with me. Um, <laughs> turning younglings, turning younglings to debris. And what was it? Freezing them in fre freezing men in carbonite. Flawless. Lawless. Flawless writing. Absolutely flawless writing. Every single time there's a line where I'm like, oh, what are they going to do here? They come out with something that is just perfect. Palpatine is calling me. Uh, kill off every last Jedi. Because when, when he did the Palpatine calling me, I was like, what's he going to do about the eyes? Just changed it up to kill off every last Jedi. Flawless writing. This is one of my favorite parodies I have heard in forever. This is amazing. <laughs> wait, wait, was he using the force to play the keyboard? I like I liked the moment on the drums where his bandmate was holding out the microphone to him, but then he's he, he you see him just using like the force to play the keyboard. Why have people done thirsty pictures of C-3PO? Why, why is that a thing? Look at that. Why? Why have you made C-3PO thick? It wasn't necessary. Also, y'all, if there's one thing in the Star Wars franchise that just felt unnecessary and confused the hell out of me, it was... Anakin Skywalker building a protocol droid. Like, you see, you see that there are protocol droids, other ones that aren't C-3PO, you know? And the fact that Anakin was meant to have built him from scraps, it's like, okay, cool. Did they take Anakin's design and then just make it go uniform everywhere? Did he invent an entire kind of droid? Or is what he really saying is that he found a whole bunch of parts and combined them to, uh, of protocol droids and combined them together to make C-3PO, in which case C-3PO is just kind of a really crappy secondhand Toyota kind of pr protocol droid, you know? It's just a mishmash of parts he's stuck together. Either way, how did the uh, anti-Sith code get in his head? That's a whole nother thing. But yeah, C-3PO's law is just confusing to me. If you want to, if, if there are, if there are some Star Wars fanboys, some big time Star Wars fanboys who know all the background stuff there and you'll want to info dump, I'm here for it because that's, that's always been an itch in my brain when I watch those movies. When you find out that Anakin's building C-3PO to help his mum, you're like, okay, but I've seen other protocol droids that look exactly like him later on. So what? Either way, either way, if you're a Star Wars fan, let me know. Cure the itch in my brain. Wow, 
why does everyone talk about her being only 14? He's only nine. Like, that is a problem there. Um, the fact that she winds up the cougar that dated the kid, that, that, that marries the kid she met when he was nine, that's the weird part. Uh, but the, the, the thing about the guy being fat and mean, it's true. It's true. He was, but it, it's just too perfect. Hey. <laughs> no! The the Darth Vader breathing sound effect is perfect, but the thing about the thing about sold all the toys called double lightsabers are sick. Yes, yes, a hundred percent. They it is so impractical, so freaking impractical compared to the normal lightsaber. And yet, if I was in a situation to pick one or the other, I'm going for a double lightsaber for sure. And it's so impractical. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're just too perfect. Oh, I'd completely forgotten that there was like a whole controversy about that. Like, honestly, when you compare that over to Superman's terrible mustache, Star Wars fans had nothing to complain about. But yeah, that I, I love, I love that each of these choruses are just slightly different, but they make it so much better. This one's shopping the younglings like celery and Lucasfilms is called flawless, flawless, because I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put it out there. Does anyone else feel like each time Star Wars is having some movies or having a franchise where they're like, it's not doing as well as we hoped it would do? Is there a way we can throw Darth Vader in there? Yep, yep, we'll, ma we'll make another movie and we'll put an awesome Darth Vader fight scene at the end of it. Perfect, done, seal the deal. And honestly, like, there's just, it, it just, it just happens a bit too much for me in terms of Darth Vader is just their go-to because he is just, the, like, he's just an awesome villain. It is just so, so good. Uh, but yeah, that I, 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 I wasn't a fan and I need to rewatch it, but I wasn't a fan of Rogue One, the movie. I need to rewatch it because I think I might've had a bad taste in my mouth for Star Wars at the time I watched it and I didn't expect much. Maybe if I go back and watch it now, I'll enjoy it more. But that last scene, that Darth Vader hallway scene, redeem an entire franchise with that one sequence. That's almost as good as the Luke Skywalker sequence from Mandalorian. If y'all haven't seen that and you like Star Wars, go watch some Mandalorian because damn, that was sick. But yeah, um, we're getting off track. But yeah, Darth Vader is just like, yep, I can see why they keep calling you. <laughs> yes. Why would they beat him up? Oh, those are sick. Excuse me with the lightsaber drumsticks. They were sick. But uh, why are they beating this guy up? What is going on there? Uh, also, yet yeah, this whole sequence, Darth Vader using his lightsaber as a microphone, incredible. Come on. <laughs> 
in freaking credible. That was amazing. Yo, every single time, every single time, I think Sub Radio can't put out a better parody than their last one. They step up the game. Stacy's dad was phenomenal. Bye 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 killed me. This was a whole nother level. The amount of references that were just flawlessly executed in there. If if you're a Star Wars fanboy, you are like, how could you not love this? That was absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I love the fact that each time they make one of these, they, it, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what level sub radio are at now, you know, like, but it's not like they're going out and doing these big budget productions to try and make up for the songs or anything like that. They make an absolutely fire song. And then it just feels like a group of friends mucking around in their house, making an absolutely hilarious film clip. And I adore that. Each time it feels like we're in, I think I'm pretty sure all, all the times we'd be in the same lounge room watching it. And I love that that's kind of their thing that they do. It's fantastic. But yeah, uh, this was incredible. I loved this so, so much. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please jump in the link in the description and give the original video a like and a comment and subscribe to Sub Radio because they deserve all of the love and support in the world. Also, leave me a like and a comment. Uh, let me know your obscure Star Wars lore down below. I know that there's comic books and novelizations and things like that that I've never even dipped my toe into. So let me know all that down below. If you have obscure lore for me, I love it. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel because it helps out so, so much. I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, check me out over on Patreon, where I do weekly polls for the reactions that I do here on the channel. I do multiple weekly TV show reactions. We're currently doing reactions to the UK version of the TV show Ghosts. We are doing season one of Supernatural, and each week I put out a bonus reaction to an episode of a show of my choosing. So three weekly TV show reactions currently. Uh, I also do a monthly movie reaction. We're starting the poll for what movie we're going to be reacting to in May very soon. We just reacted to Journey to Bethlehem, which was fantastic. Uh, yeah, so we'll start be starting a whole new brand new poll over on the Patreon very, very soon. I also do a monthly live stream, which is coming up in just a few days time. I am going to put a counter right now on the Patreon. So if you go over there, it'll be available for everyone. You can see the countdown to exactly when the stream is going to be in your local area. So go there, check it out. And if you're available for the stream, uh, come to it because it's fantastic. We do six live reactions. Uh, there's a live chat where we all have an absolute party. It is just a brilliant time. So that will be coming up later uh, towards the end of this week. Uh, and at the highest tier, just like Luke did today, you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel. So check all those features out over on my Patreon. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.